According to reports from the Warzone website, the U.S. Air Force is looking into turning the B-21 stealth strategic bomber into an airborne arsenal plane. They'd load it up with dozens of air-to-air -air missiles to team up with 6th Gen manned and unmanned fighters on missions, creating this thing they call a penetrating air superiority system. The Air Force figures the vast Western Pacific theater, plus dealing with advanced air defenses from China and Russia, means they need to repurpose the B-21 as this flying weapons rack. Stealth fighters are limited by their internal bays, payload and range just aren't enough. A four-ship formation tops out at only 24 aim to 6 -0 missiles, and factoring in hit rates, their kill power is pretty limited. So, they'd use the B-21 to beef up that magazine depth. The B-21E's got great stealth, so it could tag along with the fighters to punch through defenses. Its bomb bays are huge, letting it carry dozens of air-to-air -air missiles. Paired with that for ship, you'd push the total missile count over 50, doubling the number of targets you can take out. It could also sling longer range. Aim 174 air-to-air -air missiles to stretch the engagement envelope and hit high-value stuff like AWACS planes or tankers. If they link up the data links with the stealth fighters for collaborative combat, the B-21 turns into a mobile armory. But here's the rub, the B-21Es Main gig is deep strikes on key targets, stuff nothing else can touch. Using it as a missile truck might not be worth the trade-off. Some folks suggest a stripped-down B-21 variant no radar, simplified comms, no strategic strike capability. To make it cheaper for this role, others say the RQ-180, that big stealth drone, would cost less and fit the bill better as an arsenal platform. If they pull off this airborne arsenal idea, it'd seriously ease the ammo, crunch for stealth fighters, and crank up the pressure on enemy air defenses big time.